Control it or destroy it as I can you, you whom I helped escape from prison. I control both quickly. I don't see what good it is. The cops will never let anything like that walk down the street. What could the police or anybody do against an army like them? and make me the most powerful man in the world. Hey, watch it! There's a car outside. That will be my wife. She wants to take me away. She's afraid of what I'm doing here, yet she knows only a small part of it. Let me go in and talk to him alone, Dr. Mallory. He's been angry with you ever since you refused to continue to work with him. I did so only because he was working along lines contrary to the good of mankind. I know. He still is. I hope I can stop him before it's too late. I hate to have you face him alone. Oh, I don't fear him. I think he really cares for me. As much as he can care for anyone except himself. You're not going to tell her about the new element you discovered, are you? Only enough to prove that I have accomplished what they told me was impossible. Get me one of the magnetized discs. But if you're determined to face him alone, I'll wait in there. But won't your wife think Silence. that... Silence! Anne, my dear. You... you're glad to see me? Very. I've been wanting a witness to my great crime. Oh. Yes. I've told Mallory and the others there was a way to induce a state of suspended animation that couldn't be told from death, and that I could find it. They called me a dreamer, a fool, but now I have it! And you shall see and tell them
You see this disc? Watch. It will not come to you. It will go only to that disc which I have put there by the plant. That disc there is magnetized by a positive ray with my new element which is unknown to science. And this little spider carries the negative. When the two meet, you shall see. No, no, it's not dead. Nor would a person be under the same circumstances. It is too bad that Mallory is not here to see my triumph. I have seen it. You, you were spying. Call it that if you wish, Alex. But you made no secret of it. Now my fear is, what are you going to do with it? I shall do with it as I wish not hand it over to the government, as you would have me. I still think that would be best. It should be under control for the good of mankind. You would still receive credit for its discovery. They would destroy it if they could. But possibly... Never will I let it go. Already a foreign government had offered me millions. Perhaps I shall sell to them. Don't you realize what a terrific weapon it would be in the hands of unscrupulous people? Of course. That is why they shall pay me dearly for it. Alex, you must not. Then it is my duty to inform the government at once. Alex, please! All right. If it is your duty, do so by all means. But you will find it a great mistake. What do you mean? <laughs> you shall soon learn. All of you. Anne. Monk. Monk. Get the divisionizer. Did you carry out my instructions regarding the work to be done on this? Yes, sir. I strengthened the ionizer, but I was afraid to use it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> they think they know everything that I have. But they know nothing of this divisionalizer that will conceal me from my enemies. I'll stay here tonight. Perhaps I can see him again. And persuade him from his mad course. And I'll get in touch with the government. I've already talked with Captain West of the War Department about Alex. They won't punish him, will they? No, Anne. They'll just keep him and what he has found under control so that he can't misuse it or dispose of it to a country that would. It is perfect, but for a shadow. But can you come back? Surely. I must come back. And now, as the phantom, there is nothing that I cannot do. find our secret workshop without the Iron Man helping. Uh, 
unless they find a secret entrance to the cave. Oh, it is concealed so cleverly. Nobody will ever find it. Must be entirely moved by morning. Pack what we need. Yes, sir. must never know about you, the source of all my power. seems to be deserted. I'll come right out there as soon as I get a call I'm waiting for. Yes, Captain West of the Army Intelligence. I'll start as soon as he phones me. All right, don't worry. Much depends on what happens in this house today. I'm going to wait and listen with this. Probably Mallory. Morning, Anne. I'm so glad you got here. Captain West arrived yet? No, how could he? He's flying down, so I wouldn't be surprised to find him here. That must be Bob West. It's a government plane. They are closing in. And they will find nothing. I have to change my appearance. Maybe you better stay here and keep an eye on the plane, Jim. Okay. Captain West, is it true that Dr. Zork has disappeared? Well, do you think it's fair for you to know my name and I don't know yours? Uh, I'm Jean Drew. Well, what are you doing here? The time sent me. To look and listen and ask questions. Sorry, but I'm not allowed to answer any questions. Do you mind if I go up the house with you? Yes, I'd mind very much. You and I better take a little walk, sister. I don't believe I've met you. Miss Drew, allow me to present Mr. Jim Daly. You'll find him very good company. Uh. From what you say, Dr. Zorka has discovered something very important. I'm sure he has. Highly dangerous, too. Think what a hostile power could do with it. Have you uh, made any search for it? No, we thought we'd better wait till you got here. Well, let's look in his laboratory. Aren't you going to take that disc? I'll, uh, I'll get it later. I'd hate to have one of those spiders find it in my pocket. Fools, fools! Let them search. They will find nothing. equipment seems to have been moved. You can talk to Rankin of Aspiring. I will be with you. But unseen. Husband smokes a popular brand. But he doesn't. 
He can't stand tobacco. Well, how about his assistant? He had none. She's right. So far as we know, Zorka worked alone. The division liar, though. Then we will go. We must be more careful than ever that no one discovers the entrance of our secret garage. Let's go. Well, I'll phone headquarters and have his description broadcast. He'll be picked up somewhere, that is, if he still answers his own description. All clear? Yes, sir. Then we will go to meet the agent of the spying. When last seen, he wore striped trousers, dark foreign hand tie, and cutaway coat. No car that we know of, but it would take one to carry the things that are missing in this laboratory. Yes, that's right. Put this on the teletype right away, will you? Pick up that man! What do you mean? Give him a ride? Yes! He looks as I used to. He might be useful to me. Simplifies everything. We will make it seem that it is the famous Dr. Zorka who has been killed. Then we will get another car, go home, and see what they are doing there. West speaking. Right, I've got it. We'll fly right down there. Been a car found, wrecked and burned on Highway 10, 50 miles north of here. There's a body in it. The contents of the pockets indicate it was Dr. Zorka. Identification is important. Will you go with us? You're asking too much, Captain West, after such a shock. I'll go. I must know if it was Alex. Warm up the plane, will you, Jim? Whenever you're ready, Mrs. Zorka. taking my wife to identify the body we left at the car. She will know it is not mine. Can't you stop them by... She has one of my discs, and she does not know it. I have just time enough to put that spider into her play. She will go into suspended animation so that she cannot identify the dead man. Then I will take her from them and revive her. Now get the car ready, quick. We have to be there as soon as the plane arrives. Shouldn't take long. I'll check the lab equipment and try to figure out just what's missing. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, is there something the matter with that door? I'm sure I shut it. Doesn't look to me as if you did. wasn't in my bag when I left the house. That's the same kind of disc that was found under the plant. The one the spider went to. Are you certain it wasn't in your bag before? Positive. Hey, let me see it, will you? I haven't seen one of those things yet. Hold on, will you, Jim? I want to send it back to the department. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as sort of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. Tell me, 
From where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zorka was going? None whatever. <laughs> Jim, what's happened?